Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're back with another episode of Mass Effect 3 and uh, we are currently post Tuchanka. I somehow managed to calm my nerves and uh, here we are again. Hopefully with uh, slightly less sadness in our future, but we'll find out. And on that note, uh, thank you everyone for uh, watching and commenting my previous video on Tachanka. But I did want to mention something about uh, spoilers in the comments. I know I ask questions during my gameplay and uh, that is my way to uh, kind of communicate with you guys who are watching on the other end. But um, despite me asking the question, I uh, humbly request that you guys try to refrain of uh, telling me specific details about uh, my future missions or say uh, a renegade alternatives because I am planning to play this game as a pure renegade just to see what the experience is like. So <laughs> I would like to keep that playthrough as genuine as possible as well. But uh, I do appreciate everyone uh, trying to <laughs> share their knowledge of the of the game with me so uh please don't take it as a negative but i do request that you try to be slightly less specific because i probably won't be able to stop myself from asking the questions during gameplay but um don't give me the entire answer the vague ones are fine the um alluding to something i think is fine too but uh, telling me outright what would happen is probably going to take away from the genuine experience of a first time player. So, uh, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what we have on our plate right now after Duchanka. I think I received one mission when I was uh, passing by trainer and my computer. That must have been it must be a side one and otherwise it sounds like I need to go to the citadel because something is going on with um, with the human counselor something shady potentially so let's get into it I uh, also have my door open currently so if you hear any barks or if you see any dogs showing up in the camera uh, don't be too surprised <laughs> Okay. I also need to check if this one showed up on the map now that we've progressed the story. It may have. This one I don't think I found after all. Aria, I think is a DLC. Automated turret schematics. This must show up. At some point. Maybe now that the chunk is done? Uh, yes, this is the one. And this is the one that I heard about. Requested assistance with a Cerberus fighter base on Novaria. Land on Novaria to disable the base's defenses. Maybe we can start with that instead of going to the Citadel right away. Let's check it out. And I think I need to talk to everyone available as well. Uh, let's see. So, it was mentioned in the comments before that uh, some... Oh, yep, this is it. Some assets get an update like this. So, when they do blink... Even though they existed before, that probably means that they've been updated in some way. So let's check it out. This fleet lost a third of its vessels protecting the Council during the Battle of the Citadel two years ago. Unfortunately, the Alliance did not have time to rebuild the fleet to its previous strength before the Reapers invaded. Okay, so that must mean that the number got decreased, I assume? Yeah. Let's see. Kaylee is updated as well. 
No, okay. Arcturus first division. I need to, um, I think I have Salarians or something about the Salarians available here. Yeah, there we go. So Salarian is a 20, and that's only because of him. Because obviously we did not receive any help from the Dalatras. But Turians got updated as well. Recovering the legendary banner of the first regiment lifted the spirits of overworked Turian forces. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay. And Krogan must be updated as well now. Krogan clans and Erdnot. Do we have anything else? The alien? Or did the crucible get updated for some reason? No. The blood packs mercenaries have been compared to floods, wildfires, and other calamities. It recruits Krogan and Vorcha. Preferably those with no regard for collateral damage. Private security group. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. This is from, um, from Arya's mission on the Citadel. Wet Squad. Medi gel formulated especially for the Hainar has been distributed to Hainar civilians and fleet captains. Ah, that's from one of the things that we found. That's good to know. Okay, so let's see what else we got going. There. Commander Shepard. Hello. Let's go talk to our favorite navigator. <laughs> is he a navigator or he's just a pilot? I think he is just a pilot. Oh, All what right, are you doing here? Turn. What's the first order an alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> that was Correct. quick. No. All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? A friendly fire. Come on. That one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? He is a pilot. You're, you're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> Amazing. Can they say anything else if I walk away from here? No. Oh, Edie's gone. Where are you? Uh. Suspicious. Garrison, Joker, and Trainer. We got that. Edie is at the AI Corps. What's she doing there? <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. Yeah. Me too. He was a good man. 
Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till <laughs> we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. I should sing them about Morden. It feels good. I don't know. Did it for the war effort. No, that's also not true. Why is there a third answer? It feels awkward. <laughs> There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt but. good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. Mm hmm. You know... In a way, that's fair. But I also feel like Rex, especially coupled with Eve, are going to be very different kind of leaders. Hopefully the Krogan can, you know, get behind their ideals, but he does make a good point about Reeve. If he took over, that probably would have been a very different decision. I was tempted a little bit, but... Genophage won. I'd be lying if I said I didn't consider it. Anyone would have second thoughts about the Krogan. They just better remember you didn't act on it and return the favor. Yeah. That is very true. Are we done talking? Commander? I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. I wonder where all the Krogan will okay. live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. I suppose. I'll have to build one. Or maybe. I want to know what Edie is up to, and probably check my computer as well. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay. Let's start with the bottom. Where are you? Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel better. Everything's so much clearer now. Glad I could help. You're not lying, are you? Is everything okay, Shepard? Good to see you, Commander. Okay. Better not be lying. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? It could be useful. Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Do you hear that hum? Is that I just me? I didn't take it out either, by the way. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? It's the planet's mama. Um, updates, upgrades. Can I... Upgrade my widow. How much money? 10,000? It's not that bad. 15,000? Okay, that's a bit worse. Uh, let's see. Dog is on the couch behind me. 
Vindicator. Particle Rifle 2. Um, people keep bringing this one up and to give it to Javik, so I'm probably going to upgrade it and see how it does. Shuriken, Tempest Avenger. Someone's using this guy, I think. Liara is using this guy. Alright, it's good enough for now. Oh no! Are you sleeping? Or are you broken? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, good. Bench, that's fine. Alright, engineering. Here we go. Chief Engineer Adams. Yeah, you know what? I should also maybe talk to Diana. Jennifer is here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. There you are. I think I've heard of Milgram. Which place is that again? Reckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Do you want to talk to Commander, me? Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? Redemption it is. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? I am aware about the colony world. I didn't realize the other part, but that kind of makes sense, though. This interview is over. She's not saying anything bad. The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, okay I'll cut that together that with the rest short. of the segment and send it to command for approval. Very, very short. Oh, war acid updated? Curious. Do you want to talk again? Commander. No, okay. I'll have to check how it got updated, hopefully in a good way. Oh, speaking of, Javik is here, right? Or is he wandering? That's Diana, that's Javik. He is there, okay. Let's go talk to him as well. Who can't look at you? What are you doing? Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Miranda? Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. Mm. They called it the Cosmic Imperative. 
The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Isn't that a sign of civilization, though? That the weak don't have to perish? Because there is civilization happening? Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. That's kind of what I'm saying. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. Exactly. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. I don't either. I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. I don't know about that. But back to the topic. I feel like he says if they have it, nothing to offer, they will be eliminated, but they are already weak by his own definition. Wouldn't that just mean that they s simply don't really have the resources or time or effort to put in to, you know, explore? about what they might be able to offer because they constantly need to protect themselves. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Hmm. If we're going all philosophical about it, the stone can have a decision about what shape it can take because it behaves differently. I was into uh, rock climbing sometime before, and uh, just seeing and feeling how different types of stone behaves, that's kind of what's in my mind right now. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, Support? just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR-2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, mm. she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is I can see both of their the points. But I think I like his definition see, better. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. <laughs> I also feel like it's kind of rude to just, you know, butt into the conversation like that. They were talking already. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams would like to speak to you. Okay, fine. Dismissive much? <laughs> Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? 
about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you we keep are? an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Okay. Let's... I'll buy it, oh, for sure, but... really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? Yeah. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. So I'll need to buy it? Okay. Let's check what it says, actually. Requested GX-12 thermal pipe to make the Normandy engine safer. Find one on the Citadel. Alright, I'll need to look at the shops. Rue. We get to finally find out. Yep. He is right there. Uh. All right, Chakwas, Edie, and Liara. Let's start with Liara. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of Ooh. the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. That's a good question. Even the dead reapers can indoctrinate. So what does that mean for Tachanka? Mass relay traffic reports. Increased decrease in recent relay traffic. Widow. I see. Genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Or will that this is be the, the question. start of another Krogan empire? Eve's organizing the female Krogan. She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. We'll have to get used to them having a bigger part in the galaxy. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy, and for the better. I hope so too. Thanks for coming by. But on the other hand, considering we are at war with the Reapers, by the time everything is over, if everything is going to be over, we don't really know how many Krogan are going to be left. Or what kind of Krogan are going to be left. Hello, Commander. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. That's good. What are you doing here, lady? What are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Yikes. Well, keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hello, Shepard. That kind of uh, brings another question into my mind. So Sovereign was used as a ship, but he's a Reaper, so like a, its own entity. Why? It... Did he or they build him up to have space for 
you know, people to be inside. It's a bit strange. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Thank you. I don't feel good about the Chanka. Commander. Commander. All right, you don't want to talk to me. You have no messages. Surprising. All right, so. Let's see if we can find a rune. Okay. Meet Salarian Counselor? Here? Oh, no, okay, no, it's, uh, right. Never mind. What is this? Cerberus fighter base, okay. Did we get, get any new systems? Smart Frontier... No, these are all old. But there are some of them that are not yet open. Like these two. Horsehead, Anos Basin. Um, let me check my journal again. Sorry. From Irun and return to him in the Presidium Comets. Now the question is. Let's check out the base. Anyway, maybe we'll find something along the way. Axe. And that's the fighter base. Okay. Um, is there any other systems connected to it? No. Nothing to find, huh? Alright, well, good to know. What is here? Sigurd's Cradle. <laughs> Didn't- wasn't this? At 100% before? Thought it was. Okay, 100% here. Orla Rost. Let's check it out. Oh, is this fuel? Yep. Okay. Well, never mind. That was a waste of time. There. Okay. Let's do the fighter base and see how Javik does with his new fighter that I'm going to give him. Well, new to me, not new to him. No Varia. Long time no see.
take you. And you. I'm gonna sneeze. Alright, this is me. I want to see if I can change. some of these. Rounds per magazine. And accuracy. Maybe let's try that. So. Particle rifle. Accuracy damage. Piercing. Piercing is always good. And rounds per magazine. Weapon stability. Weapon stability is what I need for the other gun. Let's do that. Scorpion. Should he use that, too? Yeah, let's give him this. Melee damage. Okay, and Garrus. Indicator. Oh, he was fine with this, I think. And he's using the Widow as well. Okay. I think we're good. I have seven points. Let's do it. Ammo capacity or headshot damage to frozen enemies. I kind of like that too. Let's go for it. Now you don't really have a whole lot to work with. Damage by 50, damage to armor and barriers by 75. So does this mean that this damage is only to the red bar or to all of the types? But these are only affecting the armor and barrier. I think I like that. Be the jack of all trades, master of none. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. So the air defenses aren't going to affect us? I guess. Not ready. You don't have a special ammo, but that's okay. The enemy has returned. Ooh. Oh, that's a grenade. Isn't that great?
I rolled right to it. That's dumb. Get. Bless you. Woo! Okay. Another grenade, of course. Okay. Not terrible. Reload. You are quite busy, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> he melted. Shattered. Okay, good. Do we have more? Oh, we do. Actually, quite a bit. Oh! Ah, interesting. We can overload you. There. That's not bad. Is there more? Oh, yeah. The music is still going. There's gotta be more then. He's just hiding here. Where are you, sir? Oh, that's useful. I'm just walking around to see in case there's something for one of those little quests. Javik is going nuts. Ooh! That is a lot of people. Oh my. Woo. Okay, Javik, sir. Can you dark channel someone, please? Okay, good. Good, very good. So, if I use this on you, and maybe you can use that on you? Okay, some of it worked. That's good. So, again, I don't think this works. No, it doesn't. So, concuss him. That worked. That worked beautifully, actually. Let's find that control center. Alright, so dark channel works well with concussive shot. And money. And more money. Um, I think this is our destination here, isn't it? Security console. Let's uh, take a quick look around just to make sure there's nothing else missing. So these maps were used for multiplayer, is that right? Multiplayer is no longer active. Oh, level up! Okay! It's especially funny, uh, because it's been pointed out to me before that uh, I avoid picking up 
those med kits like a plague if I already have um, have them tapped up. <laughs> so now picking one up and leveling up from it is extra ironic. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's gotta get those defenses down ASAP. Shit. I'll say Garrus. Garrus, make it quick. On it. Javik is probably not as familiar with current tech as Garrus might be. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Oh yeah. There you are. So can we use this on you? We can. How very convenient. Ooh. Couldn't be avoided. Outside communications are gone. Just bring <laughs> Okay. This is great. We're gonna get overwhelmed. Got their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Ooh! This is funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get overwhelmed very quickly here. Okay. Okay, Javik. Let's slam you. Shit! Missed you. Uh, can you have a grenade? I'm very not good at shooting all of a sudden. Oh! Wait. I see. I see. I see. I see what's happening. Okay. Davik, are you still alive? Because I could use this one. you're dead that's good are we done yet oh behind point blank Okay. I hear you. General Order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. I'm tracking large scale deployment to the landing pad, Shepard. Thanks. This is lovely. That's where we need to go. Oh, you did you did not die. Okay. So they're going to be coming from both sides. We know this much. You are still alive? Jesus Christ. Can you slam him? He's dead. He really likes to use his rifle now that he has it. I guess I don't blame him. You are still recharging, huh? Now, let's do... Engineer. Can I hack an engineer? That's kind of funny. Nemesis. That's lovely.
can we... Oh, turret. Can we dark channel you? What happens if I hack an engineer? Oh, he can't use anything. That's good. Now, can I hit it? Oh, it's shielded. <laughs> it's trying really hard. Can we overload you? No. So close. Okay. Cortez, here. trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. How'd you get through the interference? Yeah. Yep. Here, signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Again. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Oh no! What are we gonna get? Terrific. Ah. Give it everything you got. Beat the Atlas. Oh! I died quickly. Oh, I didn't die. Can you do this on him? I don't know what he's got in terms of defenses, because I can't really see him well. You dead? Oh, you are dead. Nice. It is dead. <laughs> Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Okay. This is done. That was a weird mission. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. It's kind of an interesting dynamic going on here. So we are basically operating on like a worldwide scale. And all of a sudden, there is this kind of minor annoyance that's coming from the Cerberus via the side missions. I wonder when Cerberus is going to become more prominent. Squadron of advanced fighter ships was liberated from Cerberus for forces in Novaria. Ooh, nice. Oh, very good. And we got this updated. Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about bringing the Krogan into the Reaper War cast the Krogan in a favorable light, which drew even more of the clans to the Allied Forces banner. Interesting. So it did have a positive effect. That's good. Okay. So now, I guess, we are citadel bound. Cerberus seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. How things change. You've got new messages, Commander. 
Hope lives. From Bakara. Commander. I'm writing you from the Kelpic Valley on Tuchanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know the f what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to belie believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is a reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. This is, this is very heartfelt and gives me slightly uh, more hope in um, the fact that Krogan may actually turn it all around. All right, let's go to the Citadel. And after that, I'll need to um, figure out when and where I might find your room. Let's go. Just regular Alliance talks. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? They now responding. Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad Did I just here. jinx myself? Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere, and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Unbelievable. Just as I was saying that Cerberus is not prominent enough and just seems to be in the background, they take over the Citadel. What are the odds? Okay. Um. Well, let's take those two. I think she's good where she's at. Oh, I can level up again, can I? Improve the odds of freezing a target by 50%. Decrease a frozen target's movement speed by an additional 20. Increase damage to frozen target from all sources by 50. Weaken the armor of chilled targets by 25. Ugh. I don't know which to pick. Probably this. And you. Let's do this. Force and damage to frozen targets. That's convenient. Recharge speed by 35. That's nice too, though. Well, let's do that. 
Although I feel like the frozen target would have been a good choice too. Twenty-three damage per second to lifted. Increase recharge speed by thirty. I think her recharge speed is pretty good already, so let's do this instead. Oh, he's using it already? That's good. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Very good. That's a turret that I don't like. really need to grab it. Not enough overload, huh? Oh, sorry. Is it still friendly? My hand shook. We got you. All right, of course. Okay, it didn't hit me, that's good. So, can we do this to you? And... Overload? No, that did not work. Must be the concussive shot that I need. You are well lifted. I like it. Oh, smart. Okay, so if you warp them and you can cuss them, that worked. That worked really well. Jesus Christ. Uh, it doesn't seem right to look around, but I still want to. Did I? Oh, <laughs> shield generator. Okay, of course. <gasps> Bailey! I thought I saw you. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. 
How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. I have a medi gel. Here we go, CSAT network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else, but if he's inside. Was it Udina who did this? I will slap that man. Why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The counselor mentioned Udina, but that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The Counselor. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Good. Can I go back? I want to see if I can... Babe, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm I can't. The building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Oh, Thane. You don't need this kind of disturbance in your current condition. Alright. All clear. Hello? All of your stuff is all turned off. Why is that? Good. Um. Okay, you can't do this. But you could try to do that. Right. Is that a turret over there? Oh, nope, nope, not a turret at all. Can I shoot you in the foot? I can, very good. Um. Ooh. Something's happening. Oh, hello. Good God. Very good. Was he trying to set up a turret? A mod. That's good. Okay, there's more people. Keep getting distracted by loot. No? There we go. That's a good one. That is a really good one. Let's see if, um... Okay, so he just ran out. Alright, I was wondering if the Singularity would still grab him or not.
Perfect. This is brilliant. Streets in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Okay. Nothing. Security doors have been sealed for your protection. No. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hello. How's this going? You guys almost broke my ambush here. It would have been interesting if there was any environmental dependencies for the combat system in Mass Effect. Like, for instance, maybe I shouldn't be able to use Incinerate with all the sprinklers going. How cool would that be? Okay, he's not affected because he's shielded. Oh, that hit me. Are we done? Oh, a bathroom. And a weapon? Okay. Oh no. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. God damn it. That'll teach me to jinx myself in the future. What do we see? Not much. This is glass. Very good. Did he actually manage to scramble? Weapon bench. Okay, no, this is fine. In a way, you can almost look at the Starburst mission that I just did as a distraction because they didn't want Shepard to be on the station when they took over. Man. Richfield! Lamont! You alive? Could you perhaps not alert everyone? If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. That's fair, but also her comment was legitimate. Armando Owen Bailey. Entry 1. Warn Herc that if he doesn't fill out his report properly, I'm kicking his ass from the other... <laughs> okay. Um, reschedule meeting with customs analyst about cargo weight discrepancies over the last year. Don't let him wriggle out of that again, damn it. Reports of undesirables getting on station illegally have biometric systems calibrated again. Kick Kirk's sorry ass from one end of the citadel to the other. Okay. Uh, let's look for survivors. Wait, what? High caliber barrel. That's probably going to increase damage, isn't it? That is locked. Why though? Can I break? Hello? 
No? Um. Okay. Is there a computer I can hack, maybe? Door control? Did that do it? Yes. Perfect. No survivors here either. Sergeant Uriah Shaw. I brought up number from evidence so you can see for yourself. We caught the slag who was assembling it in one of the tower's 110's bathroom. He got it past the detectors in pieces, metal barrel in a hollowed out omni tool, element zero in one of those Cezian toothbrushes. The rest was plastic or ceramic. No gang ink on him. He was in a sport coat like most of the male employees of Tower 110. His ID was manufactured. He's got a record that dates back to when his med card was issued. And before that, nothing. This is way beyond coincidence. This is a pro assassin and he's not alone. We've got people smuggling talents all over the station. Patrol knows it. Organized crime knows it. Everybody knows it. But when you try to talk to the Major, you hit a steel wall. Where's internal affairs when you need them? Why can't we get them to open an investigation on customs? You would not get away with this blind eye business if this were LA or Hong Kong. The Major says he's not going to screw over good police because of one nut with a pistol. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? But it isn't just one. Ask the executor this. If this is the stuff we're catching, what's slipping by? Okay. That's interesting. So it started long ago. Obviously. Alright, I can't go this way because the door is malfunctioning, but I did see another one over here. See gunfire or here. Gunfire okay. Very good. I oh. will. Sorry. Um. I don't mean that actually. We've gotta be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Let's. There's no word why C-Sec reinforcements have not shown. forces are urgently needed at the comm towers. I agree. Ooh, 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 shit. What happened? Oh, great. Can't. They're still landing. He's dead. Okay, can we do this? Are they really all close range? Al Jalani? This is that lady that I punched. I'm coming. I am coming. Okay. Not what I meant.
Bailey, looks like they got the Executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the Counselor's body, don't count him out yet. What was that? Oh, that's you. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Shit. What are you? He looks new. <laughs> what? Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. Shut that up. remains to be seen. I mean, Udina, he's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. It is him. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. Now it's fun. Shepard, do something. Kill Thane. Thane. Are you kidding me? Who the hell is that Edge Lord? How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Udina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. going well. Who's that lady? Eject. Everyone okay? Shepard, my instruments say your car stopped. Yeah. I'm on foot now. You can Any say that. Contacting the council. Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. Phantom. What are you? Oh, thank you. Bros. Right in the air, that's amazing. Don't ask me where I aimed.
Okay. So embassies is where we are right now. Good. I just want the overload. So close. I haven't fired a single bullet in this exchange. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so I can go upstairs. I think that's where Udina is. Did I see something? Just now? Oh, I can jump. Um, let's check upstairs. Aww. I think I remember that lady. Okay, nothing. He dead. He is. Wow. That's a glitch. Where are you? Could we put Singularity in here? We can. It's kind of useless. Shit, 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 shit. There she is. Okay. Nope, bad timing. Guys, you need to come over. Garrus? Come. Okay, Phantom. Oh, shit! I don't think I got her. Now I did. Wow, that was... uh, tough. This isn't looking good, by the way. At all. Wow. Gotta say, I never thought that I would traverse the Citadel this way. It is kind of cool. There's something. Credits. 
I probably shouldn't go there. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Of course. I'm in Shelmar Plaza. Where I need to switch to you. Yeah, an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Oh Right. So he is doing what? He is shielded. He's dead. Very good. Now who else is here? Oh, you guys. Can I pilot you? I can! Oh, that's a good thing. I should probably get out, shouldn't I? Uh, can I not do that? There we go. I couldn't do it on the stairs. Anything. No. Alright, we're going up. Edge Lord. Strong lady. Stop okay. the elevator. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Oh, God. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. <laughs> nice. I found our friend. Cuba's elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Come on. No? Oh god. Where? Oh, okay. No! Ah, oh, shit. Can't see. Okay. 
Okay. Where is he? Oh, Singularity is in air. That's amazing. Shepard, bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. Shit. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come! Which way? There they are. Oh! Would have been nice to have a pull. I see them. No Jump. push. What? We're Here we go. Did we do it? We're covering you. Go. Oh. I guess I What's shot the power down on my own elevator. Get down. Kaden? You are right to shoot me because you don't know it's me. But I'm still offended. Servers took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Kate. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian counselor confirmed it. Please, you have proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. Point. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Come on, Caden. Believe me. I better not regret this. You won't. Udina? Step away from the console. To hell with this. Shoot him. Or slap him. Wow. He's got a gun. Get the council back and cover that door. I killed the council. Counselor. The door. I don't think I feel bad about it. Bailey! Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Where? Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Yeah, where's the Edgelord? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. But Times please like help. This, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. Yes. Maybe I could have questioned Things him instead. Didn't go as planned. The council's still in control of the Hi, Citadel, Lang. and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. 
Know what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. And he's got a katana. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty Hopefully. sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Wow. What a mess Udina created. And what happens now? What is in his... Okay, I guess that makes sense. Nothing here. That's probably okay. Well, let's discuss. Uh, Udina colluded with the elusive man to attack on the uh, organize an attack on the citadel. What the hell was he thinking? What was the goal? To take over the citadel? But you still can't get support from the. Um, from the other races that way. If nothing else, you will alienate them, and we already have Turians and Krogans with us. Ah, uh, the silly man. No one's on the dock. We need to go to Thane. Uh, lower bar, Joker and Cortez. I should probably go there too. CSEC officer, Officer Knowles, and Liara, and James. Okay, let's go see Thane, for starters, and then we check out those uh, officers. Because they gotta be quest holders or something. My wife was just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. Okay. New quest: Reaper code fragments. An Asari war strategist needs fragments of Reaper code to predict enemy movements. Find a Reaper code fragment and deliver it to her at the Citadel Embassy. Curious. So that did not give me a quest. Hey, you guys are back. That's good. Ooh, news about Noveria came out. That's nice. He said a rune, didn't he? Spectre status recognized. Please One moment, please. A rune is exactly what I need. So, can I even trade now? Memorial Hospital. No, I'm seeing it here too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If 
we could get the rings of the city and Nebula. We could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere Alun. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. Okay, the screams are terrifying, first of all. The lady's gone. Welcome to Serta. Oh, that's good. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? All profits from sales. Twenty five. New medical research. That's a lot of money. Be safe. Um, oh no. You don't want to talk to me, okay. I should probably go and take care of that Asari's request pretty soon here. As it seems very much important to have more volunteers for the hospital at the moment. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts, Wow. Yeah, rings of a loon. Find a sample of the toxin and deliver it to the Huerta Memorial Hospital. Where in the world would I find that? Hello? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. <sighs> that assassin should be embarrassed. <sighs> A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Oh no. <coughs> Kalahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, 
wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. this one to where the traveler never tires the lover never leaves the hungry never starve guide this one Kalahira and she will be a companion to you as she was to me say she the prayer was not for him commander he has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken his wish was for you goodbye Thane you won't be alone long I'm sorry. I needed to step away for a second. That was incredibly sad. But very beautiful. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this I happen in combat before. I agree with the Salarian, but she's right. Run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? The I have. The situation is going to get worse. The medical system is already kind of, sort of, facts. doing that. If we prioritize at them, the some ERs. of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If to a much lesser extent, of course, but supplies, we can save yeah, some now I think I'll have to support her. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies for those without credits. Interesting. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. I think I supported the human. But... I think the Solarian ended up... Coming up with a solution, which is crazy. Alright. Let's find out. What else, or whom else, we lost? So many people. It is nice to see so many survivors, though. Let's go talk to Cortez. Also, where is Caden? I would like to talk to him. almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. 
Man, somebody in supply should mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. It'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. I don't think you should be near a music... A place where the music is thumping like this if you have a concussion. Something tells me. Uh, they were here, weren't they? Okay, we got a new quest. There's so many. Hey, Joker. How's it going? Where's Edie? Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Oh, there it is. What about you and me? What? No. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then, so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis. And a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. Be her friend? No. Go for it. If you could it. be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, I guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. I love it. This one's good. Where's Cortez? Wasn't he here somewhere? Who are you? <laughs> Hey. I don't even see Edie. Is he here? No. Hey, Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. <laughs> Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Come on. Good what? talk. The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. There's Edie. Are we gonna dance? <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Oh, God. <laughs> well, she's waving her arms. Everything is well.
Yes. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. Well, this is a relief. There's at least some positivity about going back to the Citadel. Uh, Edie, where are you? I can't talk to you. I haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Edie doesn't want to talk. Okay. <clears throat> I guess so. I need to find the shops. So I guess we're going to the Presidium. Spectre status recognized. I wonder why that's needed for an elevator. Now arriving at Presidium Hello? Commons. You don't want to talk? Okay. Wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues had legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know well. the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this a classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that could help us, even today. Is she working on the crucible for me? Welcome to Kanala Exports. Um, serenity is possible even during times of fish. crisis. Priorities. Canala Exports is pleased to offer goods we for security and visit. peace of mind. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal. Supplies. Where can I get this thing that they asked me for? Thank you. Come again. Arsenal supplies. Yeah, that wouldn't be it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's keep going. Oh. CSAC officer. How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks huh. a lot. This is gonna save lives. That's nice. Did you leave? You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you do. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus before it's made it happen, you'll give me the bill. Uh, did. Did. As Vita. Get killed? We're at war. <laughs> if you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you. I have some high profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC, you think I care about insider trading? I'm after the baskets we Nobody else. You got my All right. Just. I hope it helps. Um I think there's a Salarian here that I'm looking for. Damn it. If we 
kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten to the obelisk of Karza. I know Damn. The Everyone is looking for something. Not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain the Prothean language. Prothean language stuff. Okay, that's gotta be for... Or the Crucible as well. Uh... Let's see. Ooh. Oh, again? If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. She's right. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian militia with training. Well, otherwise they'll just pay or get themselves munitions. killed. I just, mm. I just want people to be safe. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cyprogene Armory. None of them are selling that stuff. But I maybe find it at the Spectre's interface. Liara, hello. hello Shepard. Nice to see you. Okay. Nothing else to say to me then, huh? Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? What are you? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. You know what? I think I agree with her. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. We kind of are. Almost. Yeah. You're right. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the My dog's barking. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. To my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. What is this? What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Okay. What is happening? Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. 
And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. You're better than this? Let me do it legally? Why is murder justified? Oh, that's tough. I'm angry. But that's probably not the right emotion. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Huh. Okay, then. Do we have anything else here? And any more shops? Nurse? At cargo hold. C? Let's go check it. to look at the quests that I picked up. There's been so many, I kind of lost count there. But let's check out the uh, the cargo base. I don't know what that nurse is doing. Hello? What are you? Or who are you? Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. Documentary I'm trying maker. to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Uh... There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. Is now it really the time? The same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. That could work. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni tool in the refugee camp, I'll be here when you're done. Okay. I'm guessing it'll. What is going on here? Oh, photo. Really? Nurse. Pressure's okay. No infection so Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you Gorak? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Eratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. <sighs> I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. I was sorry. I had to do it. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. 
I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Would that be viewed as me aiding a terrorist? That's awful. Oh, that's a store. Okay. I knew this was coming, and it doesn't make it easier. Is there any more of those photo ops? That's crazy. Nice. Nice? Did I miss you, James? Oh, hello. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. <laughs> have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe those are my credits. So they, let's go talk to him. And after that, check whatever we got in the journal. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Mm. All right, here we go. So, more codex stuff to read. Nimbus Cluster. Uh, okay. Target jamming technology. That would be good. CSEC officer Jordan Knowles has requested assistance tracking illegal use of Batarian diplomatic codes. Need to go to the Spectre Terminal. Well, I guess let's do it. Maybe I can find the that thing that the engineers asked me to find. This way. What happens if the door doesn't recognize me anymore? For whatever reason? Can it even happen? 
heating stab stabilizers. Did I miss them? Oh man. What is this? Oh. Damn it. And the thing that they asked me for is still not here. Oh, there's a lot of more stuff. Medical supplies originally meant for Occupied Zone have been rerouted to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. The supplies are currently in lockdown on the docks, but can be released to the Huerta Memorial Hospital under Spectre Authority. Uh, occupied Zones have been rerouted to the Citadel. Well, I guess we can't go anywhere else. CSEC has fielded requests for a civilian militia to defend the Citadel in the event of another attack. Many CSEC officers believe a militia would benefit the Citadel's state of readiness and improve morale, but they lack funds and clearance for the program. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to begin training civilian volunteers using funds normally allocated for to executive bonuses. I think this is good. Surveillance authorization. CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Officers have trapped public surveillance feeds but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization would enable, enable CSEC to tap into business feeds without informing civilian agencies. agencies. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. I feel like it's beneficial, but it's such a slippery slope to go down. Like, where does it stop? Or does it stop after the war is over? If it's ever going to be over? Let's do it. A Batarian patient named Korek is located in a makeshift clinic in the temporary refugee camp. He is suffering from undisclosed but severe injuries. Medical staff from Huerta Memorial have provided painkillers, but there's no viable long-term treatment. Because the Batarian hegemony refuses to share records, no data on Gorek is available prior to his arrival on the Citadel. And with Spectre level access codes, it is possible to bypass standard security protocols and track top-level diplomatic dispatches. The location of consoles accessed using suspected ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for easy detection. Let's do that. Now, Citadel Defense Force. Let's see. It is so much stuff. Period, period statue. So what would be the next course of action? And how do I talk to Caden? Because I would like to. I do, however, think that I think I will end this here. Um, we got the Citadel back under our control, at least for now. And from what I've seen so far, it looks like at least we'll be more ready if the next and when the next attack comes. Oh, I can't believe I shot Udina. I just wanted to slap him, not shoot him. But that happened. I do wish that I could talk to Caden because he believed me. That's good. But I would still like to explain myself a little bit better to him. Because I feel like we kind of left that interaction a little bit abruptly. Um, as always, we got a ton of new quests from the Citadel with lots of stuff to find. And not a whole lot of directions of where and how to. It looks like I missed uh, one of those quest items since it showed up on the Spectre Terminal. As I understand it, they only show up if they are missed during the mission. So it must have been during the previous Cerberus one that I didn't find it. 
I still don't know where to find uh, that part that the engineers asked me for, but I will keep looking. This question is not to mean that please tell me in the comments, because please don't. I would like to find it. Um, uh, let's see, what else? I'm a little hazy on where we are supposed to be going next, but I did find a whole bunch of missions that I could potentially take care of, so that could be a good relief from this highly emotional roller coaster that we've embarked on. I will miss Thane, and I wish the Kelly situation was a bit more prominent, because if I didn't stop there to listen to the dialogue, I would have never known. I mean, you guys told me already, but if I didn't know entirely, I would have never found out whatever happened to her, so that's a bit sad. I wonder if her name is going to show up on my memorial wall, because she did serve on the Normandy before. I guess I'll find out when I go there next time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing. And uh, there is another reminder about spoilers that I mentioned in the beginning of this episode. And there also will be a, a sticky comment attached to the top of the comment section for, for a reminder of this requested courtesy from me. <laughs> from you, by me. There we go. Uh, but back to the topic. Um, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.